Hey guys, Thunderset here, and today we are going for a Red Eyes revisit. We have new boss monsters. We have Meteor Black Comet Dragon. We still have this pretty new Archfiend Black Skull Dragon. I have both of them prismatic. I'm just missing a prismatic Slash Dragon, who's also another normal boss we've had for a while. And that's pretty much all we're using, guys. It's all Red Eyes Fusion. With these new boss monsters, we've had to add in some new elements. We have a Summon Skull, believe it or not. Just a vanilla Summon Skull is a super rare too. I'm still using one Sword Swimmin, but I like to keep it at one and use a Gear Freed. So we have more instances for our Insight, and we have more instances for our Fang. All sorts of stuff. Also, obviously, another way to Slash Dragon. Still running Lightning at 1. He can be milled with your Comet Dragon. Milled in the way if this card is Fusion Summon, you send one Red Eyes monster from your hand or deck to the graveyard. Inflict a quarter of the original attack, so it was probably normally half. If this card is sent from the monster zone to the graveyard, normals, or you get to target a normal monster and special summon it, so that can work for your Summon Skull. Summon Skull is actually used to bring out our black skull though so he negates effects when he attacks a monster and then you get to target a red eyes normal monster in your graveyard and inflict damage to your opponent equal to half its attack once you have swung so he does tons and tons of damage 3200 3500 so they're huge monsters but our comet dragon takes a level six specifically level six dragon type monster so we're using mana dragon we're using mana dragon Zernitron. If a spell card you control leaves the field because of an opponent's effect and is now in the graveyard or banished, you can special summon this card from your graveyard or hand, even if it's there. Then set one spell or trap card that was banished. So you can protect things like Return of the Red Eyes. You can protect things like Fiendish Chain. It works out really well for our boy. And of course, he's fuel for our Comet Dragon. So Red Eyes are doing a lot now. We have Fangs. We have two new bosses to really work around, and then all the normal elements we have like lightning and other win cons. So uh, snuck in some black metal, all pretty basic, just new boss monsters. I'm still using Red Eyes Fusion, it, you really kind of need Red Eyes Fusion. There's a lifetime mission going around, uh, Red Eyes Roulette or something, I don't like it. This, this card's way better because you get to return red eyes from your graveyard to the deck. That's actually really huge on its own. It's not really any kind of cost. So uh, red eyes are cool. Not quite anything crazier with this other monster, just a little more offensive, a little more effect damage. So you can burn a good amount of damage with the red eyes deck now. So pretty interesting in just that. Still, it makes you add interesting text like mana dragon. So it's pretty worth it. So overall, Hope you guys enjoy and thanks for watching. All right, here we are, old Joey Wheeler versus our new Joey Wheeler. Going first, he's full Joey Wheeler over there. Two mana dragons in our hand, a red eyes dragon and a black fang. So that is what we call a brick in the business. Now he's got a red eyes fusion, so he did not brick. He's using a sword swimmin just like us. But he's using this red eyes roulette, so look at this skill. This skill isn't very good. He's adding an Archfiend of Lightning to his deck. Now he adds a red eyes to his hand, but then returns that same exact red eyes to the deck. He just added a card you could already put in your deck. A card he already has in his deck. He just added it to his deck. Such a waste of a skill. I don't understand why Konami didn't give red eyes. Like a super clearly OP skill like they have been. So uh, this boy's going Return of the Red Eyes for an old school Red Eyes cutscene. He interrupts our fusion, but we're bringing out our Meteor Comet Dragon, guys. We're not messing around. We got him Prismatic. We mill a Lightning. We do a good amount of damage. Now we're going to Fang. We're going to Fang his Slash Dragon. Lowers our attack, but we didn't need it. Destroy them all. All he's got is face up return now. He's able to normal summon a wyvern that is going to give him an instance of return. He's going to bring out the red eyes once again. Is forced into defense position though, so we're really bringing it to him on this mirror match. Saw a summon skull milled, that means our archfiend is here. He's also prismatic, so we're really just flexing red eyes dominance here. We let the archfiend 
take on the Wyvern, do a bit more damage, target the Red Eyes Black Dragon, do a bit more damage, so as you can see, we've burnt him down a good amount. Now he's got a Sword Swimming, but we have 4,000 life, so we're really not even afraid of a Sword Swimming. Get another Brick in hands. You have a lot of Bricks when you consider we have some Skull and two Mana Dragons and stuff like that. But uh, finish him off. We win the mirror match, no problem. Great, great stuff, guys. All right, here we are facing a set of Kaiba. We're going second. He's showing us peak performance. We already have a red eyes fusion and an insight, and our return. So really, search our fang with the insight, and we're gonna be just fine. So this is uh, Black Wings. We're, we're gonna have a heavy back. We have such a big back and forth. This game is actually decided by time limit. I was close when he lost in time limit too, and he didn't really like wipe me out or anything. It was just that many plays in the duel. So I was like 20 seconds from timing out before he actually times out. It's that kind of duel. So he's starting with the Chidori, but at 3400, Chidori is not really crazy. We're gonna use Insight to mill Gear Free. That searches a Fang. Now we're gonna use our Fusion. To bring out our Meteor Black Comet Dragon. He's really a great choice in a lot of instances, and I like having mana dragons in my deck. So we're gonna mill an Archfiend of Lightning, do a little bit of damage. We're at 3700, so we're way over his little Chidori. We got a return, we got a Fang, we got everything we could want. He's starting with a Simoon, banishes a 3 tuner. We're gonna show our return and summon our Lightning as a chain to his. Just showing him we, we own this chain. He's already down to almost 3,000 life points. He's got a Zephyros, that's going to lower his life points a little more if he uses his effect. He's got a Gale. Normal summons the Zephyros, double search. So I mean all this searching and stuff, it takes at least one second. At the utmost least, you can't avoid the clicks taking one second. So uh, now he's going Squall. He's got a Rainstorm. So haya, the Rainstorm bringing out another Squall. Flips me to defense. That's okay, because he's the boy with the faint. Now he's going Thunder. He's got Onimaru, the Divine Thunder. Gale's gonna lower my poor little Archfiend of Lightning. Zephyros returns himself. To special summon a Zephyros that does a little bit of damage. Now he's going Hop Joe. Hop Joe's gonna bring out Chidori. This guy's throwing everything he can at me, but now we're gonna use our Fang. We grab the Onimaru because this is actually a 6k beast stick, not low 5k like our little Chidori here. We bring out Archfiend of Lightning. He counts as a normal monster when your Meteor Dragon is destroyed. So great job by Meteor Dragon. He leaves Lightning in his wake. That's pretty crazy. We're using our return to bring out our d sod Red Eyes, giving the good old d sod cutscene. Here's our Chain of Lightning's effect, boom boom, we hit him there. Chidori's gonna special summon that Onimaru though, now we're gonna use our Red Eyes Fusion. We turn the Red Eyes from our hand, then we add the Fusion, now we can't use the Fusion because we used our normal summon. We can search another Fang, that's... Super, uh, the skill is just so useful for returning a card to your deck. That's actually something this, this deck needs, because you absolutely rip through your resources, I'm telling you. Special summoning again, now we're getting the second Red Eyes cutscene. Both cutscenes for our Red Eyes. We're both at such low and awkward life points too, it's weird duels with these Red Eyes. Now he's going once again, he has other plays, he's doing normal summons, but this is going to end my time limit. It was just too much searching, too much play to do. He had to use Steam, it looks like he doesn't have any more Gales to search. Got another Zephyros though. Only three in his extra deck. We steal his Onimaru with the Fang, and then he times out. Great, great stuff, man. Alright, here we are first at Ubel on a bit of a win streak, going for a rank up. We're just cruising through Platinum, really. He's got 30 cards over there. We're starting with the Swordswoman. I think I'm running two Swordswomen in this uh, version. We mill an Arch Lightning. We go with Red Eyes Fusion. 
Yeah, eventually I trade out a sword sword for a gear free just because we really need that extra red ice monster in the deck. So we're starting with the slash dragon just because we have our black metal in hand already. And that serves as an equip for our slash dragon. We even set a sword sword. He's Neftis, so he's going ritual Neftis, destroys the Grunix. Pretty good card to have versus Red Eyes. So he sets a back row on top of that. We get another insight. Grunix destroys every card on the field for us. But we get a special summon and a search. Search the fusion. Special summon the metal. Insight once again. See, it's a little resource intensive when you keep pulling your insights and stuff like that. Now we have our Return of the Red Eyes. I don't think Black Metal counts as a Red Eyes Dragon, though. So he's going to Soul Release virtually all monsters in our graveyard. Soul Release gives you five vanishes, so that's pretty, pretty crazy. Now he's got a Limit Reverse for his Disciple. Throws away Scapegoat. This guy has a pretty fun deck, honestly. I wouldn't mind playing this. Pretty fun. Ritual Neptis, pretty cool stuff. So uh, he's going though. Destroying our black metal once again. We get a search of Fang this time. Now he's gonna use Power of the Guardians and bring us within an inch of our life with 3,500 damage. We get another metal. We're gonna go Fusion, throw away our Mana Dragon. Here comes the brand new Meteor Black Comet Dragon. Throws away an Archfiend of Lightning. We go Metal Dragon onto him. He's 4k now. Red Eyes Fusion returns the Red Eyes. And we add a Red Eyes Fusion. Very important to return that Red Eyes. We're swinging over our Power of the Guardian for 100 damage. Crazy. But really what we need to do is just use the Fang and equip it to our Void. Luckily it's a high attack monster. So we're not going to lose too, too much attack. Stealing it. We're going to bring out a Lightning in the, end, in the draw phase with the return of Red Eyes. We've stolen his monster. He now has a Neftis search of a last hope of the Neftis, I think is the name of that card. Yep. Sets a back row. Nothing really too crazy. We normal summon our lightning. He's going to Karma Cut our poor big Comet Dragon. That gives us a search of a Fang once again. He's clipped with the lightning. We still have a return to the Red Eyes. I actually don't think we have anything to summon though. Yeah, we don't. So now we can Red Eyes Fusion, since we've returned a little to our hand, we got another Mana Dragon, we do run two, so there's our Comet Dragon once again, he's gonna be, oh no we don't have any Red Eyes Monsters in though, so you need a little, you need a good amount of Red Eyes Monsters, so uh, great great stuff guys. Alright, here we are facing a Kite Tenjo, we're going second, still catching some wind streaks. He's a Cosmic Scourge. using Anna and uh, what is that Tori set a back row we top deck a red eyes we already have a red eyes fusion we mill a summon skull as you can see we're going the Archfiend black soul dragon usually a quick way to hit an OTK he's gonna shadow spell us it's okay we're gonna go fang insight mill from our hand red eyes re or sorry return of the red eyes Let me keep on keeping on he would have OTK'd him if he didn't have that shadow spell we're using our red eyes. He's gonna econ us. Not sure what that really does. Now he's gonna monster reborn our red eyes. Too weak to do anything versus our boys. Sets a back row. Red eyes return for another red eyes. Once again, we'll get a cutscene for this one. He stole our other red eyes, so we gotta go with the D Sog cutscene, which is perfectly fine. Still good old red eyes cutscene. Black Metal on the Red Eyes for 3k. And he said hit us with a Drowning Mirror Force, but he... He did this to our Skull Dragon, okay? We can't change position. You can't change position with Shadow Spell. So we're stuck in attack. He saved us from that Drowning Mirror Force for literally no reason. Now we're able to get our old Red Eyes back. We get the OG Red Eyes cutscene. A little more red. A little less black and D-Sod Neon kind of thing. 
here he comes. We get a Mana Dragon to protect this back row. It's actually pretty cool. We get a Milo Summon Skull once again. Arch Fiend is back. We're just trying to do some damage here. We set another Fang. Swing over a Cypher Monster. 3200. Once he's attacked, we get to target and do 1200 for well over 4k damage by himself. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing a Yummy Yugi. We're going first. No sleeper map for our boy over there. We got a Mana Dragon. We got a Fusion. We're gonna throw it. That's a Comet Dragon, first thing. Right on the scene. I don't know why I didn't use my Prizzy. We throw a Lightning away to do a little bit of damage. Insight for return. Already have Fang. Mana Dragon protects both. Actually a really good first turn play. Now he's going Gaia. Gateway to Chaos. We're going to be able to Red Eyes and Archfiend Lightning right out. And then he's got a Gaia. Remember we didn't even use Archfiend Lightning for the Fusion. The Archfiend Lightning was just milled separately. So we still have things like Summon Skull and Red Eyes in the Graveyard. He's bringing out the Fierce Guy at night. But he's randomly gone with a Heratic. Now the Heratic's going to Econ take. I'm going to take my own monster here. He's trying to take my Comet Dragon. I'm going to take my Comet Dragon. Now I'm 3500 on my Lightning. And that boy's tributed. He usually special summons something. But we may have messed up the timing. We go with our return. We're going to bring him right back. But our boy scoops. So yeah, Meteor Dragon guys. He definitely fits into this deck. Definitely has a roll. Doesn't push it over the top. Um, he's just great in a lot of instances. Very sticky. Special summons a Red Eyes or a Summon Skull. Does more burn damage for when you're super close. Great addition. It's just we need the really OP stuff for Red Eyes to really take off. So until we get that, it's just going to be interesting text and new boss monsters here and there. So until uh, we get more, hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching.